Neon lights, no. neon lights. Dancing with my demons, do the dash me out of sight. Running up, secure the bag. Hello and welcome to the Soul Insights Podcast. I'm Kyle Loxton, joined by Kyle. And we're going to be doing your dream day today. It's all by me. Probably going to be. Duh. I don't even know. I don't even know. Absolutely banging. That's what the day yeah, is. If you say so. Yes. So we kick off music recommendation. Go on then. So this would be your soundtrack for the day as well. So this is dedicated to you. Right. On it. But it's getting added to the SI Pod playlist and it's Bad Meets Evil Fast Lane. Fuck you now. Yeah, I knew you were gonna say that. <laughs> See, I told you, isn't it? The only reason I've listened to that recently is because of the like uh lane. whatever the newest M M&M M album was, which isn't exactly new, but mm. it was like the um I don't think we've got him on the old thing. Uh, yet. Curtain Call Two. That's the one. Oh yeah. Um no, I don't think we have, to be fair. So it was either going to be NF or Logic, I thought. But go <laughs> a bit said, spicy and go... Uh, so that would be a pretty cool theme tune. I was going to do a Dappy song, but I was going to be like, actually, I think that this song would be quite cool as your you know theme where my tune. mind jumped when you said old school? What? Fucking Chili Bang. Oh! Opposite of adults. Because I still listen to that as well. That would actually be a decent one as well. Yep, there you go, see. Oh, no. Nah. Right, we're going to have to set with Bad Meets Evil. That's fine. Yep, no, that's fine. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> All right, okay. Do you strong game, mate? Oh, d- oh, sorry. Um, right, so game, it's just been announced, mm. well, within the past week or so. Uh, payday 3. Is it? Yeah, exactly. I mean, what the fuck? <laughs> I mean, payday 2 wasn't that great. That's why I said to you earlier, we'd probably not play it. It's cool to like think about it, but we probably wouldn't play I it. I mean, the game glitched. Remember last time? So, that was payday cool. 1, or payday, Decent, yeah. was insane. That was well fun. And we played it loads, didn't we? It was just constantly rinse. Like it was rinse and repeat, game, but just yeah. constantly over and over again, like playing the same one. Um, and Payday 2 we I think we played when it originally came out a bit like a bit like, really we did it, we did, did play we? it like a fair bit but not as much as the first one yeah and then we re-got it like a year ago or and so it broken and as fuck. it just seemed shit and my level reset and oh, yeah. I just Lost thought everything. fuck this I couldn't bother after that so uh, yeah Payday 3 Maybe uh, we'll 2023 I don't know when um, I don't think it got announced well like you said hopefully they've taken on board maybe the comments they might have got from 2 I don't know. People might have just liked to. Yeah, maybe. Just we seem to break everything that we play. Yeah, so it just seems yeah, like a bad child at Christmas, just breaking all his toys. <laughs> Give it up with it. Friends, yeah, exactly. toys out the pram gone. Right, uh, TV. So I've got two TV. I haven't got film this week. So the fir- one, one or two first. Two. Okay, so uh, this is one that I think you think I was on about. So Alice in Borderlands season two. Alice in Borderlands. Uh, Japanese. It's a Japanese TV show, so it's Japanese spoken, it's dubbed over in English. Uh, or you could probably have subtitles, but fuck reading. Mm. You know, I want to watch TV. I don't I mean, want to read. more. It's your New Year resolution, wasn't no. it? No. <laughs> I, want, I want... Oh, yeah, I suppose. Yeah, <laughs> no. Um, so, spoilers for this show, and I'll say spoilers for Lost, but if you haven't watched Lost, then, you know, mm. get a grip. Um, so, the ending was shit. I didn't like it. So, the ending of Lost, obviously, it's... It's thought that they were all dead from the plane crash and it was all just imaginary, wasn't it? Mm. So you're never going to watch this, are you? No. Um, <laughs> the TV show is basically they get put into this other world mm. and they have to play games. So you've got like... No, a, good game. You've got a visa, kind of. Um, you've got a visa, so you've got like three uh, three days left. And after those three days... Um, you'll die basically right. this laser will come out of the sky and it'll just fucking like shoot you in the head there's no way to avoid it or anything it'll just kill you right. um, so you have to play the games which have a face value which is the deck of cards so it might be like a six of hearts and the uh, suit tells you what type of game it would be and the number tells you the difficulty so the higher the number the higher difficulty oh, that's quite creative so they have to do like you'll get a six of hearts game and it'll be like it's not actually the hearts but Oh, let's, no, let's do spades, I think it's spades. Mm-hmm. So it's physical challenges. So it's a physical game. You might have like a heart game. So like maybe you have to sacrifice somebody that you're with or something. And oh, okay. then there's like logic games and stuff like that. Um, and obviously if you beat like a level seven game, then you get seven days added on your visa and you don't have to play a game for a little bit or you could just play loads. Oh, okay. But every game is like you're basically killing each other off. Um, you might be doing certain things to kill other people or you have to sacrifice people or there's 
one person amongst you that's like a white rabbit yeah and you have to figure out who it is and only the game only ends when that person dies so they'll obviously keep on lying so that everybody else is dying so and they're the only Alice survivor borderland because the white rabbit no so that was just my example oh. <laughs> didn't even make that like <laughs> thingy fucking camera um uh, but sorry uh i will be back shortly um basically yeah you have to keep on playing these games and i've lost completely lost my train of thought now they said white rabbit um (laughs) you said it's not (laughs) yeah i don't know Um, your visa if you do a random card game yeah and basically you have to just survive the entire time um in the second season the like the jack queen and king and then you're playing against like the game masters kind of thing, and you have to try and beat them. And if they lose, they die. Right. So you know it makes it that. And essentially, you had to beat every single type of game. And you had to collect every card. But well, then you become the game master. No. So it got to the end. So major spoilers for the end here. Um, and the they beat the last game, which was a fucking waste of time. They played fucking croquet. You've gone from <laughs> them playing like fucking Russian roulette, not actually like that, but like stuff like that where you're like blowing each other's heads off mm. or like getting fucking burnt with sulfuric acid, like your entire body, to croquet. But that's Alice in Wonderland. That's what they play. Is it? She goes to see the Queen, that's what she plays. Oh, so the Queen must be Alice in this case then. Right. So it's Alice in Borderland. So Borderland is essentially, I think, what the japanese would call the afterlife or like the Portland. you die yeah. exactly um but it turns out that there was actually a massive uh, meteor that hit the earth uh, that hit their city mm. and they were all essentially dead or like injured to a point where they ended up in this world and if they survived that world they got a choice at the end saying if they wanted to stay in that world or go back to the uh, world they're from. Okay. And then they got to... If they chose to go back to the world they'd go, they come from, then they'd be alive. Like, they'd survive the meteor strike. And anybody who died in the actual games would obviously be dead in real life. So it's a bit fucking retarded. Yeah. It is the it is essentially lost. Like, it was all imaginary. But yeah. anyway, yeah, I rambled on about that for too long. <laughs> yeah, but like you said, it gives it a bit more context yeah. of what it is. Like, I wouldn't have a clue even what it... What it was a really cool TV for, show. Was... Like, I really enjoyed it, but the last episode ruined it. It's like everything. So, um, and Kaleidoscope. Kaleidoscope. So have you seen about that? I heard about that, I think. So Quite dark, it's... isn't it? No. Kaleidoscope. It's a TV show. It's about... Major spoilers for Kaleidoscope. <laughs> um, it's a heist show. Um, so a group of people, and they try to do a heist on this person mm. but the gimmick with it is that you can watch it in any order you want netflix will give you the episodes in a random order mm. and it'll end it with the episode called white so each episode's a color for the kaleidoscope um That's and well cool. you can essentially watch it in any order and it'll change your opinions on people and then when you're watching like the next episode you might be like oh shit suddenly realize something from the last episode well, that's really well but it all out. goes in different orders it works it does it gets a bit confusing if you're not paying too much attention. But I wish I'd watched it in chronological order. So you've got like 25 years before, nine years before, three years right. before, three weeks before, uh, one week yeah, after, off, three months after, kind of thing like that. Like you could watch it in chronological order, but they'd still say to leave the actual heist, which is white, until last. Um, but yeah, you can. It's, That's I think cool, it's the I first like... TV show you can watch in whatever order you want. And it makes sense. And to be honest, it does. But I think for me, it mostly made sense because I started with the one that was actually the oldest. So I started with the 25 years ago episode. So it gave you context of the two main characters, Mm. who they actually were. If you didn't have that to start with, then I think it might be a bit candy. But it's worth a watch. And I'd say just go balls out and just watch it in whatever order Netflix gives it you. That's pretty cool. It does. Netflix will give... I think they give every account or every person or whatever... A different order to watch it in. so your order will be different to mine that netflix yeah. gives you in from like a director point of view you would have had to have thought that through before even yeah. filming though isn't it that's pretty pretty well thought yeah. out to be honest so if, if it works as well so, it's like 24 like i think you watch i remember that simpsons episode like ages ago with the little robot that homer becomes friends with or something and it explodes but oh yeah you watch the day pan out in different points of view 
So you're getting it from like how Different that event happened that, yeah. because something else happened. I think that's well cool though. Yeah, so this one, it's like you've got all these characters in front of you and you're like, who the fuck are they? And then you might get a random episode later that it's like, oh, actually, it's the origin of how these people met kind yeah. of thing and how they became like from Like a butterfly that. effect thing, isn't it? Yeah. But like, yeah. Oh, cool. Anyway. <laughs> well, there you go. That's the recommendations. Yep. Page from the book. All right, so Dictionary of Obscure Sorrows by John Koenig. I forgot to write down what the chapter is, but we'll just do the word. Um, Alersi. A L. L, E R, S. Lassi. What? Lassi. Oh, I don't know. You've then. completely butchered it. Too bad, but. Alassi. That's what right, I was thinking. E L O S Y. Alassi. Alassi. Depends how you want to say That's it. How you pronounce it? Apparently. Well, no, it's like jealousy, <laughs> and Alassi. Jealousy. Right. So it's the fear of major life changes, even ones you've been anticipating for years, the dread of leaving behind the bright and ordinary world you know, stepping out into that liminal space before the next stage of life begins, like the dark and rattling void between adjoining metro cars. So just stepping into the unknown. Even if you know you're, what you're going into, you don't actually know mm-hmm. how it's going to be. You're nervous about the change, essentially. Which suits him well for like a new year thing, I think. The fear of major life changes. Yeah. I mean, some people wouldn't, isn't it? So your your missus just says that she's pregnant and you're just like, fuck. <laughs> yeah. Or be like for us, like, say if you move to the city, that's a major life change. Not necessarily scared of it. But like the yeah, fear but you'd, of... You'd be, you know like, you'd be nervous, flipped, anxious and all it? that. Yeah, At the yeah, start, exactly. you'd be like, shit, how's this actually going to go? Like, yeah. Is this actually going to be all right or not? Yep. So there yeah. you go. What's the word? Cool. Uh, nice and easy. So uh, what's that main topic? Now? Right, on to Kyle's dream day told by Kyron. So what we're doing the rules first before yeah. going into it. You've done this. So. You've done. You've done my dream day first. So you say whatever rules you came so up with. So the rules are for this: you you can teleport. So there's no travel time in between your things on your day that you've done, and the things that you do is fairly realistic. I would say just obviously not done in one day. But the fairly thing, realistic to be accomplished during your life. Whilst you're here now, then, so the people that you meet up with would be more dream like, I'd okay. imagine. Unless, like, obviously, it might still be a So I'm going to assume thing. logic's in there somewhere. So you can do, <laughs> in a way, it is a dream sometimes, but it is still quite a fun thing to run with. Yeah, but even, like, say, famous people and shit, like, it's still possible. Yeah. You just it's not impossible. It's not like you turn around and you fucking say, like, I don't know, going to meet Jesus. Yeah. So it is, Although, you know, to some people, I suppose that is possible, isn't it? There's one but on here where it would be, like, a dream thing, but it would it makes the thing be pretty cool, like my right. say. But that's it. And then at the end of this day, would we say you can change one aspect of this day yeah, to on, tailor you, yeah. to make it even more of your to dream whatever day with I your want. little contribution? Yeah. To whatever I want, but still being realistic. Okay. Yeah. Are we jumping straight into it? Yeah, go on then. Well, I haven't <laughs> done any time. So I haven't got a clue what he's going to say. So you're waking up at 7 a.m., so it's not too early. Yes, two hour lion. <laughs> yeah, it's not that not mad. But you want to make the most of a day, you can't yeah, sleep in. Exactly. And you're waking up and having breakfast in the timeless suites at White yeah. Pod in Switzerland. So you're in the mountains, you're in the Alps. All right, okay. So it's like a wait, I could, I've got what the <laughs> White Pod is. I looked at it, it was well cool. Since its creation in two thousand and four, White Pod aims to prove that hospitality and environment conservation can coexist to create a unique and positive experience. The use of energy and water is controlled, the waste is recycled. It's all like an eco thing. You're literally a pod in the mountains, but it's luxury view. Like your view is you're on a mountain in a little pod. It's pretty cool. So it's, it'd be like sitting it'd be like sitting on a sitting in a tent at the top of a mountain. Yeah, essentially. Like a but you're in like a tent. You're in a fancy pod instead. Yeah, yeah. like a yurt or yeah. something, but it looks insane. So what? a yurt. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a fancy tent. Okay, you say so? But it's heated and you have breakfast in there as well, so that's de- like delivered to your little pod. So I didn't actually say what your breakfast was though. I'd say Cheerios. off the top of my head. <laughs> what cereal? No, go on. I don't even know what oh like full English. No. You don't like that? Yeah, that's how well I know, ladies and gentlemen. I'd, I'd go. So okay, so I'll, I'll have I have input yeah. slightly throughout this thing for food. So I went on clear what your food's like. Too far being there, I I mean you'd want to go something hot, but I also think like a Breakfast. big fucking like a massive fruit. buffet You're gonna have a mad day as well. So like a massive think. yeah massive fruit buffet, like all the different like weird like exotic stuff you can think of, like. I don't, I don't even know. Okay, I'm not, yeah, I'm not gonna start naming shit, yeah. but like kind of like a fruit, but bu- like a big elag. El- el- Elaborate. Labyrinth, yeah. Um, fruit buffet with okay. some nice uh, coffee. 
I completely Very forgot good. to write your food. To be That's fair. Right. I haven't actually done food. You, so you can do the food. That's oh, one okay. conversation. You, right, okay. we can change it. So yeah, okay. That's your breakfast. So seven a.m. to eleven a.m. You're going to be snowboarding there as well. And the snowboarding resort or ski resort is Port du Soleil. Soleil. Okay. Which is actually the resort linked to that pod, so you don't have to travel anywhere. You would be from your pod there, and you're snowboarding with Deadpool. <laughs> So with not with Ryan Reynolds with Deadpool. Ryan, Re- yeah, as Deadpool actually has the character, not Ryan Reynolds yeah. playing Deadpool. It generally it's just Deadpool. So that's the major dream aspect because obviously <laughs> Deadpool fuck? is mad. So you could send yourself off a cliff. Deadpool's and just not real. Watch him just send himself. You know that snowboard. I could session just be like Deadpool be. go into that tree. Oh, and he'll go into the yeah, tree. You know that snowboard session would yeah. be jokes. So that's seven to eleven. You're do- you're having breakfast at that place, and you're snowboarding with Deadpool. Cool. Which is jokes. So whatever you do on that. I didn't say what you did on snowboarding, but I hope you don't break your neck. Why so not? 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. You're teleporting now to Hawaii. Right. And you're swimming with whale sharks and great whites with the jackass crew. Okay, so let me throw out there, because obviously you've researched. Yeah. The the animals are indeed in the location that you're suggesting. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I don't know okay. where the where the whale sharks would be in it, but you can do that. You'd be caged up diving, obviously, with it. But you're with the jackass crew, so knowing them, they probably... You're watching them just having jokes. I was originally going to say Steve-O, but I said, no, no, you like the whole jackass, jackass crew. Jackass, yeah. So that'd just be jokes. That's like a two-hour session, yeah? Yeah, so still, right? As long as they get eaten by a shark. <laughs> yeah, you're in a cage. Then 1 p.m. till 2.30 p.m., you're teleporting again. You're having lunch with elephants in Ubud, I think that's how you say it. U B U D Elephant Sanctuary in Bali with Dua Lipa. Okay. <laughs> okay. I don't okay. know what you're having lunch though. You've got to say it again. I just said lunch. I, said, oh, I don't know because it's in a weird country. Yeah, but that's any food, isn't it? You don't. It's a dream. Know, Come on. You just think of it and it'll just appear in front of you. <sighs> I, honestly, I don't know then. Sandwiches. Cucumber sandwiches <laughs> with Dua Lipa. <laughs> Do a leap for is your lunch. See, <laughs> ah, that's a good person. God sake. Yep, there you go. No, you've answered my question. I'll do a leap for lunch. But that elephant sanctuary that looks really cool. Pot of whipped cream. Do a leap because you're literally just chilling with the elephants, and you can do whatever with the elephants as well. I think you can wash them, ride them. Yeah. <laughs> but I think you're eating. No, I got weird. You're eating food, like literally when they're walking around. I think that'd be insane, to be honest. And obviously, yeah, I would do Lipa, so why not? You get to know it for an hour and a half. Yeah. There won't be much talking. <laughs> <laughs> it's a dream day after all. For God's sake. <laughs> right. Uh-huh. So it's half two till five. Right. PM. You're chilling. Teleporting again. <laughs> you're, you're chilling with Logic. Yeah, yeah. Playing PlayStation with him. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> and then you're heading to the studio with him to meet up with NF, and they're going to make a song together. And you can do a little bit of input. Or you can just watch them create the song. So they will create one song in the studio, NF and Logic, together. So I'd just say... You can say input or like chill with them whilst they're making the song. That'd be mad. Chill with them while they're making it and make a music video where I stand there straight face the entire time. Would well, you? the three of us, just for like three minutes or whatever, just stood there straight facing. But the audio's over it. The audio's <laughs> over it. Or we can all be stood there straight face rapping. <laughs> okay. Exactly. Um, I have one question. Yeah. What game would we be playing? Exactly, I don't know. Just playing PlayStation. I don't know what Logic plays. I thought you might know. He likes Last of Us. He likes the single player stuff, doesn't he? He kind of goes a bit of everything, I think. But I imagine you just play high on life with him. Oh my God, yeah. (laughs) Play high on life whilst Because he'd probably play that, wouldn't he? (laughs) Yeah, I'd imagine so. Yeah, it's Rick and Morty, so yeah. Yeah, whilst chilling with him, so (laughs) do whatever, isn't it, with Logic's place, playing PlayStation, and then going to the studio and then you're still there because it's half two till five so you're there for a little chunk to be honest knowing their work ethic they probably make a song in like two seconds yeah exactly um you're going to the shooting range with logic so nf's gone and you're gonna be doing the shooting range with him and you're driving and firing a tank because we didn't do that in vegas so i mean you, you get the experience to do that, that yeah, exactly it? with logic yeah <laughs> maybe shooting another video there. so yeah that's your a big chunk of like your day is kind of chilling to be honest yeah. but you're with people you actually like you're like what <laughs> <laughs> and then 5 p.m. till 7.30 you're doing a meet and greet with the Man United team <laughs> so you are in the UK actually I did say you didn't step why is it a all. meet and greet just because it's Man well, United team doesn't mean to say it's in Manchester well, does it you're doing a meet and greet with the Man U team 
with the Old Trafford hospitality package. <laughs> okay. Good that is. And that's how you're having your dinner or tea, whatever you say. Like yeah, you have a bit okay. of food. So whatever that yeah. is, whatever the hospitality package is, it's probably another buffet, to be honest. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, that's, that's chill, like and whatever, basically. you watch a game with them as well. Okay, so... I said to you before this, yeah. I was thinking maybe you'd miss something out, and that's what I thought. But would you put me in a football match situation? All oh, right. Would you put me to watch a football match? Yeah. Basically, I was thinking, is that the thing he's going to miss out? All oh, right, no. Because he's going to be thinking too much about down? travel and that. Really? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. So it's like meet and greet, man. New team. You get the old Trafford hospitality package. You watch a game from that seat. It's probably a half decent view, isn't it? And you get a signed Maguire shirt. You've ruined it. <laughs> Do I, can I have a uh, signed no. Phil Jones shirt instead? No, Maguire. Can I uh, have a plus one? <laughs> uh, yeah, um, uh, yeah, I haven't actually said who yeah. you got in the game with. Like, yeah, you can say. I don't know, to be honest. He's got big hair. Fellaini. To, yeah, there we go. <laughs> so you're watching the Man United game. I'm watching the Man United Fellaini. game with Maro and Fellaini. <laughs> okay. Yeah. There you go. Um... Then 7.30 till 9.30, so a couple of hours, you're doing a dune buggy joint ride in Dubai with Tom Holland and Kevin Hart. Because <laughs> I thought you liked it. random. <laughs> well, I thought you liked your Spider-Man. Fucking random. <laughs> so I thought it'd be jokes. And then Kevin Hart would be jokes, I think. So you're just sending yourself in there. And then you're finishing that session with a sunset skydive in Dubai as well. So I think that would look insane. You can oh, have yeah. a skydive with Tom Holland and Kevin Hart all on your own. I mean, skydive with Kevin Hart would be jokes, to be honest. <laughs> Just hear him screaming. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that would be that. And then 9.30 to 10.30, so an hour. This is your random thing. You're going in a submarine to the bottom of the ocean so you can see for yourself how pointless it is. <laughs> or Science. how insane it is. Exactly. That hour is down to whatever you discover, whether you have a random encounter or you see nothing for an hour I in mean, pitch black. So that part of your day is up to you. Um, science is at the equation, so you don't need to adapt to water pressure. You literally just I'm teleport. Just you teleport from skydiving. You don't even need to pull your parachute. You could probably do a teleport I where just, no, you just I fall just, through the earth. Yeah, exactly. Into you, just, the you just skydive and you go straight into the water. Yeah, into the yeah. submarine. Yeah, exactly. So that's, yeah, that. And then 10.30, this is where it gets mad, to be fair. 10.30 p.m. till midnight, you're on a lo- luxury yacht party in Ibiza. Right. Uh, with neon jet skis, <laughs> paddle boards, joyriding. Neon. Yeah, you're joyriding. All of it kind of like lit up in a way that you could still go on jet skis at like it's that night time. time. Yeah. yeah. So I thought it's, it's like a summer sort of day because I guess the sunset happens at like nine o'clock or something like that. So, yeah, it's like that sort of time. But it's still warm, so it's actually nice for you to go out there. You will have, like, neon strips on the jet skis. and Oh, it'd look insane, to be honest. <laughs> That'd be more my setting. Isn't it? And you're partying with everyone you get on well with. <laughs> <laughs> I'm by myself. <laughs> one person. <laughs> I'm on my own. <laughs> so that whoever that you get on well with is with you now for the rest of the time. So whoever that is. And so, Marshmallow is your yacht DJ. I was going to say, so Logic's there, and F's there. <laughs> Exactly. Tom Holland's there, Kevin Hart's there, Dua Lipa's there. Everyone's there. Whoever else you said, I can't even think of everybody you fucking said now. Deadpool's well, just, there. Just random people you get on board with. Yeah, those people. Friends. <laughs> no one. <laughs> but, um, I suppose you can come if you want. They said, um, yeah. Ashley Ma- can. Chill. Yeah. <laughs> and maybe a couple others. Yeah. Games. So yeah. you got Marshmallow's your yacht DJ. Because I think you needed like a party sort of aspect as well. Yeah. And then you could do Logic and Marshmallow do their actual song on the yacht. There you go, live, yeah. That'd be mad. Exactly. To be fair. And then NF can make a song with Mar- Marshmallow. It's all right. Exactly. Yeah, there's another one ticked off. And then me and Dua Lipa can <laughs> kiss under the moon. <laughs> <Look right>? on, <laughs> <laughs> on a glass <laughs> kayak somewhere. <laughs> now, that's a bit weird, me saying that, but you know, hit me up. So, from midnight till half three in the morning, you're watching an Eminem show in the T-Mobile Arena in Vegas. I was about to say, where's the team over arena? So, yeah, okay. so you're teleporting from the yacht party to that. You're probably a bit wavy now at this point because you've had a few. No. The teleportation takes away all the alcohol, isn't no, it? No, no, we're staying wavy now. And then we got... <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. you got a meet and greet with him as well. You get to go like backstage and see him after the show as well. So you've seen Eminem now. Um, something I don't think we'll be able to do so. and then you're going to strip club flicking their fucking cards 
VIP party limo pickup with some absolute fire women who stay with you <laughs> most of the night and you're getting, you're getting bottle service waving their sticks everywhere <laughs> oh fucking cameras froze again <laughs> yep carry on right so and you get a straight face club takeover that's your event at cool. that strip club and special guests are Jeezy and Tiger how mad is that you've added in quite a lot of yeah those like three hours of your life would be ridiculous you'll see an Eminem for a the little bit the whole fucking thing would be ridiculous <laughs> you see an Eminem yeah. chilling with him I doubt he'll want to come to the strip club why not <laughs> well, tell me has to it's my dream day you do what I tell you <laughs> yeah and you whip everyone you get on well with still are you <laughs> so I'm still place. by myself <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but you've got some fire women now yeah. but they're staying with you it's right to a leap there, so. and then you're at half three in the morning till 6am you're teleporting again to an after party with Dan Bilzerian in Sao Paulo in Brazil what happens if Dan Bilzerian stays with yeah, Dan Bilzerian because where anything goes because that country a lot of stuff's legal in what country did you Brazil. say Brazil oh okay a few things are a bit mad there, so that's <laughs> that's what you need to say on that. Yeah, front. with Dan Bilzerian yeah. as well, like that'd be yeah. sick. And then it, there's circus acts going on, a lot of adult entertainment and shenanigans. That's what I wrote. <laughs> shenanigans. <laughs> <laughs> and then that's where you try a load of different cocktails and layered shots to get yourself completely gone. That after party would just be what happens there stays there, and it's going to be a blur for you. And then because I drank so much, I don't wake up the next day. And then six a.m. You're zapped. Back to your normal bed with a gold plated desert eagle on your pillow waiting for your decision. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's only one decision. There's only I was going to do, you go back with a revolver and there's one bullet and you just play Russian roulette with yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah, now. That's your day. <laughs> so you know. <laughs> yeah, play Russian roulette with yourself. It's not, oh, it didn't go off, point it to the sky and shoot. It's... Tick, yeah, tick, 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 boom, motherfucker. <laughs> tick, 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 boom, Whoa. explosion. So that's your day. A tiny temper there. So do you want me to quickly run through it again? I'll literally fly through it. Go on, then. So 7 to 11, you're snowboarding with Deadpool, waking up in some yeah. yurt. 11 till 1, you're swimming with sharks, the jackass crew. 1 till half 2, you lunch with Dua Lipa with elephants. Half till till 5, you're chilling with Logic and F, shooting range, studio. 5 till 7.30, man you... 7.30 till 9.30, Doom Buggy in Dubai with Tom Holland and Kevin Hart, Skydive. Half 9 till half 10, Submarine to an abyss somewhere. Half 10 till 12, Luxury Yacht Party in Ibiza with a load of buddies. Uh, midnight till half 3, watch Eminem, then go to strip club with GZ and Tiger. Half 3, 6 a.m., after party with Dan Bilzerian in Brazil. 6 a.m., possibly shoot yourself. <laughs> <laughs> How right. much of a day is that? So I would say the the best part... Yep. That would be realistic. <laughs> no, so, no be realistic. so would be the whole like Man United experience, but at the same time I know it'd just be a massive letdown because you know it's Man United. <laughs> yeah. So I'd just get disappointed. So um But that's the one thing that makes it your sort of day because I wouldn't care about that personally, is it? So. Yeah, whereas you'd probably do the rest of it. And probably the deep sea bit, which I think is probably the coolest bit. Really? Yeah. For fuck's sake. It's just disappearing off into the unknown and seeing what you find. Uh, yeah, like, you it's, said, it's cool. Like I was trying to think of like a lot of other experiences because I said towards the end when it's nightlife, there's probably other stuff. What I think is party. That's all I would want to do, to be yeah. honest. But there might be other like night experiences. Like I could say you could have gone up to see the Northern Lights on a snowmobile when they're like max thing because that's yeah. been quite sick on a husky sledge. But I just thought I wanted to get funny with and lit with it. I was gonna. That was one option that I did miss out. Was you could probably have done a husky ride out in the middle of like yeah. Finland somewhere, and you saw the Northern Lights in like mad setting with the dogs. That would be a pretty cool one. But like you said, you can change one if you wanted. Little segment of your day. I don't know, really. <laughs> if I was gonna change anything, it'd be something to do with the evening, the like nightlife part. I think, but at the same time, I don't need to change anything. Now. Yeah, because from like half ten till six a.m., you're partying technically. Yeah, but I mean, it's different levels of partying. That's yeah, how and I it's would treat a party. seeing different people as well, though. So yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. I don't think I need to change anything, to be honest. <laughs> so there we go. Like you said, next episode we'll have to do your one. And then we can compare both. I mean, what we could do is take combinations of both days and make the soul Make it like day. A, Yeah, there you go. There's the third episode of this then. Do you reckon? Yeah, what would our dream day together be? If we and were that. to do like everything that we wanted to do, like yeah. we could do together. We can combine or we can, yeah. 
So I so guess it's going to be exactly the same as these, and because you s- your one is going to be, I'll say fairly similar. It's going to be along the same lines as that. There's activities that you've said that I would have thought for it's, you as well, because we both do the some, same stuff, don't exactly, we? Exactly. So. Because the fun stuff that we've done recently, we've done together anyway. Yeah, exactly. So it's hard to think of like the snowboard inside of it, like. Yeah, we figured that out together. So and like the diving part and stuff like that, we probably yeah. end up doing, isn't it? There was I was trying to think of something that like, I know you would personally like, like chilling on PlayStation with Logic. You didn't, can't complain, isn't yeah. it? So and like the man you meet and greet and stuff like that. I was just trying to think of like other things, but that would have gone all the way back to like school, where your like interests would have changed, isn't yeah. it? It's not like oh, you're doing some outdoor activity where you probably don't really. Unless you're climbing like some sort of mad mountain somewhere, but even yeah. then you'd probably like be knackered to do the rest of the day because you still got your energy. Oh uh, yeah, because you just wouldn't be knackered after all of that, would you? No, <laughs> <laughs> the snowboarding in the morning would finish you off. I think. Yeah. <laughs> swim with sharks. You just swim out of the cage and just end the day there. Wouldn't you? Exactly. Yeah. Just end the day snowboarding. Just go off the mountain. I thought that day was honestly. Like I said to you, I was getting jealous just reading it because I was just like, "Are you serious?" Yeah, well, some of those you in could petty existence. Like you said, like you could actually do them. Yeah. Obviously, meeting up with the. Famous people, you're gonna have to be famous yourself, probably, to get the connections to meet yeah, up. Yeah, but it's possible. But that's the actual activity, impossible. All of that, besides like the submarine into the black abyss, but yeah, but even that's possible. Like people do that. Yeah, it's maybe not in the complete black abyss, but you can go quite like deep ocean. Yeah. So the only unrealistic thing is the Deadpool thing. Oh yeah, Deadpool. Yeah, that's the main dream yeah. one. I was gonna say Ryan Reynolds, but I was like, oh, you'd, it'd be even more funny like snowboarding just Deadpool. Yeah, because he just impla- it? impales himself on a tree and just, you just like, see gets him like off. pulling himself back off the yeah, or like he just jumped off the ski lift, twisted neck. Yeah, he just he just goes, <laughs> oh, I feel like my slopes here, and just jumps off randomly. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, it's fucking jokes. So there we go. Yeah, I thought it was quite cool. Did you think it was what you were expecting? Uh kinda and it's kind of what i'd expect you to say <laughs> thinking more about yourself <laughs> not in like a bad way because like i know we, obviously way. we've done like every we've done so much together recently exactly. that it's like it's it all makes us in like like, like like the private yacht and ibifa we've done it's that. like it's something that we've done so it's something that we can do you just take it to the next level exactly. sort of thing it's um hard, no. And Vegas, like we've done. It's going, smart. going to the fucking the T-Mobile Arena in Vegas. Okay, yeah, we didn't do that. But then strip club with your fucking card flickers everywhere. Yeah. Every, yeah. VIP limo service thing was what it was as well, wasn't it? So exactly. Yeah. It's, it's just it's taking stuff to, to the next of, level. I would have been able to sit there and do like you, like you said, a whole new experience. Like you could have gone to space or something. I don't know how much of a dream. Like I wanted to see if you make it so it's a little bit more realistic. So it makes it a bit more fun because you could envision yeah. it yourself even better, couldn't you? Yeah. Especially something that you've kind of <laughs> done similar because then you just think banter then, don't you? Check back in three years <laughs> when we've done <laughs> all <got> this. <laughs> oh my God. It did make me want to go to your... <laughs> yeah, I don't it does know. make me want to pick up that deagle at the end. Because you know and the day would be myself, anything like that again now. now. <laughs> you just got little do a loop of elephants. It's like <laughs> life's peaked. <laughs> it's not the only thing that's peaked. <laughs> I'd say <laughs> the tent at the start wouldn't be the only tent either. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. The only fucking pitch. <laughs> so yeah, that's the thing. Right. We're done. So next time, obviously, I'll do yours, and we'll see how lit that gets. Well, like you said, I'd wake up, play PlayStation, go bed. That's, would, that's your dream. Do day. you think um, the meeting up with people was going to think that was a new thing? I literally thought you were just going to do all of it, and I was like, "Well, you probably just do it all yourself." Yeah, but I was like, "No, you have to have people mix there. people in with yeah, it." Yeah. I didn't think that initially, but yeah. So we go. Cool. Yeah. Go on. Right. New music. New music that's dropped is Skrillex, Fred again, Floden, Rumble, Popcorn, Drake, We Cat, Dunn, Tiesto, Lalo, SL, Prague, LGP, Quay, DJ Drama, Tory Lanes, and High Res 2 plus 2 equals 5. I Am Sue, Out the Blue, Vito, Chris Brown, Do You Mind, Drex Carter, Half, B Sides, Smokey, Margiela, ASAP Rocky, Mamacita, Race Remed, Torpedo, OGZ, First Day of School. Bangins. Bangins. Can't say I know many of those songs. <laughs> Crazy to see Ray Shrem had come back though. They've been, they were a thing when we were in school. I mean, right? yeah, <laughs> like Flex Zone, no Flex. Yeah, zone. no Flex. Yeah, Is that? yeah. yeah. Mad. Right. Oh, yeah, that's the new music. Uh, fact and joke, mate. Fact Have you done that? Uh, yeah. So let's go fact first. Um, this is banter. So 
Uh, there's two parts to it. So the first part, some female penguins engage in a form of prostitution <laughs> where they perform sex acts in exchange for pebbles. I knew there was something wrong with penguins. So. Okay. Uh, so, so part two. And sometimes the female penguin will trick the male into thinking she'll give him sex, but then she takes the pebbles and runs off. <laughs> <laughs> Sassy. How jokes is that? That is jokes. Yeah. That's sneaky, like women. Sneaky link. Penguin. They marry you to take your money. And run off. And run off so with, we orig- with your so money. Are you telling me that we originated from penguins? Yeah, we must have. <laughs> I mean, it's the only logical answer. Not Abe's. No. no. It's the only logical answer. Penguins. Right. Uh, joke one or two. One. It's okay if your phone autocorrects fuck to duck. You're still using foul language. <laughs> no. okay. Why are chickens so funny? Uh, don't know. Because? Oh, my days. I think I know where you've got that from as well. There's a little, little kid kids. on TikTok doing it, yeah. He had like 10 million likes. <laughs> <laughs> it made me laugh so much. I saw it on a form like, God, nah, just nah. Yeah, there was that one joke that I showed you on TikTok recently. I don't know if you might have seen it, but that might be one for the next episode. It made me fucking laugh. I'm not going to lie. Uh, should I just tell it now? Actually, should we just play it? It'd be jokes, won't it? Don't play it. Why? I'll take the audio. <laughs> I don't know, if, I don't know if it will load it. We'll get there eventually. Oh, I don't know when I've sent it. To- <laughs> that one when they're in Target and they go, ah, to the fucking... <laughs> Podcast viewers are just like, what are they on about? <laughs> That's all right. Look, they could play it. It's not going to load. Super hard. Oh, I... Nope, it's not going to load, so uh, we'll just ignore no, that. there it is. Is it actually going to play, though? What do these... It's from... I don't know where it is from this podcast. Two things have in common. Girls at a party and parking spaces. <sighs> If you turn up late and all the good ones are gone, when no one is looking, slip it in the disabled watch. <laughs> For God's sake, honestly. Oh, I did not podcast. think it was going to be that... Um, <laughs> I, had to play like, I didn't think it was going to be saying disabled one. <laughs> yeah, shout out that no, podcast. Yeah. Yeah. Right, there we go. Whoever it is, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right, we ready? Cool, up. yep. Uh, to find us on streaming platforms under the Soul Insights podcast, please leave us a rating and review. Socials, Twitter, RSI Index, TikTok, Instagram, Soul Insights Index, and YouTube, Soul Insights. Damn. Thank you for tuning in. And to loot.